Today in the spotlight, it's Beans to Brewing for a great cup of coffee at Cora Coffee Roasters. Hi, I'm Tara Brown, and this is Sunday Morning Coffee with Cora Coffee Roasters. Tara's made roasting into an art form, bringing her passion for coffee to life. Cora Coffee Roasters is a small batch specialty coffee roasting company in love with Tacoma. We sell 12 ounce bags of retail coffee, we sell 5 pound bags of coffee, and if you come to the Proctor Farmer's Market or to Sunday Morning Coffee at Feast Art Center, I'll make you a Chemex pour over of really awesome coffee. Chemex is an established pour over style of coffee brewing requiring precise measurements and proper technique. Tara describes the process as a way of making a beautiful cup of coffee. A family tradition of passion for coffee led to the business plan of Cora Coffee, a fact reflected in the very special name Tara selected. Cora Coffee Roasters is named after my grandmother, uh, Cora Ellen Brown, uh, because I was inspired by the strong women in my family. My grandmother would spend Friday afternoons with her friends in her community at the, the cafe in the town where she raised my mom and her five siblings, you know. To her, coffee meant community and friendship, and that's what I want the core of coffee roasters to mean in Tacoma. Tara spent time living and working in Guatemala's specialty coffee industry and brought this experience home to Tacoma. My business model is one girl, one product right now. So I have one roast, it's a medium roast, roasted super slowly to be really smooth and sweet. I, I think it's really cool to be able to, to tease out the special flavors of apricot in a cup of coffee. As is common for most new businesses, Tara found her entrepreneurial needs required flexibility in every component of the company's operations. Cora Coffee Roasters is my specialty coffee roasting company, so I do everything from uh, buying the coffee beans to, uh, um, to, to brewing the coffee and the, the janitor and the CFO and everything. Coffee customers can be finicky, and Tara feels she's got the pulse on what keeps her customers coming back for more. I think the main thing is that the coffee is really good. I mean, I wouldn't be in this business if, <laughs> if I couldn't give people a consistently really good cup of coffee. Um, I, I think that the second biggest thing is, is a sense of pride in Tacoma businesses and a sense of community around uh, you know, the farmers markets and Feast Art Center, the places where I tend to meet people, the places where I tend to meet my customers, tend to attract a very community-minded uh, group of people. Tara also credits her success with support from Spaceworks Tacoma. Being a part of Spaceworks has really helped me clarify uh, how I want Cora Coffee Roasters to grow. Tara's vision for Cora Coffee's future includes expanded sales of her in-house coffee line and increased distribution. The most important thing for the, for the company to grow over the next several years is to increase our uh, wholesale presence, selling coffee to uh, restaurants or, uh, multi small, multi or small or multi-roaster coffee shops. Uh, I also deliver to offices all around Tacoma. I have some sales targets that I, I want to meet, and once I get to a point where I can meet those sales targets, I want to look at uh, getting a full-time sort of retail and production space uh, that would in entail, you know, obviously hiring more people. The startup phase of Tara's business required some creative, out-of-the-box thinking that is paying off. I borrow someone else's roaster. I rent it by the hour, um, which is great because buying your own roaster is an extremely large investment. Um, and then I have a partnership with Feast Art Center. Feast Art Center is a community art center um, that has agreed to let me come hang out on Sunday mornings and create a pop-up coffee shop. Tara runs an online purchasing operation along with continued presence at the Feast Art Center in the Tacoma Hilltop Business District. She's also a regular at the Proctor Farmers Market with dates and times listed on her social media sites. The farmers markets have also been an incredible way, specifically the Proctor Farmers Market has been an incredible way to uh, get exposed to a much wider audience. As to why Tara planted Cora Coffee Roasters in Tacoma, it's clear the location made perfect sense. When thinking about where to start a business, you have to think about where you want to live. So I wanted a city with a lot of uh, growth potential and I definitely feel like I wanted a city with a lot of room for, for me and sort of for Cora Coffee Roasters to grow and I felt like that was Tacoma.